everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. So today is already starting off kind of badly. It was about 8 degrees last night, which isn't that cold, but it was very windy. So the wind chill kind of added on to that cold, so it's probably in the negatives um, if you counted the wind chill. Um, the skid steer was parked inside, but Brent went to get on it this morning to get sawdust. You can probably hear the space heater running. For some reason, the lift on the skid steer is not working. It's acting like it's locked up. either a solved problem or a bigger problem. Alright, so I'm back. We let the space heater run on the back of the skid steer for about 10 or 15 minutes. Still not lifting, so I'm gonna show you guys. Brent is getting the Kubota warmed up so that we can put a hay bale on, because obviously we can't put hay on and we can't get sawdust. Brent thinks that maybe a valve let go in the valve bank, and that's why it's not lifting, but this is what it's doing. Yeah, so Brent is really thinking that something might be let go in the valve block, so um, so he's going to go in and call our mechanic after we get the hay bale put on with the Kubota, which is much more difficult, but um, that's just the way it's going this week. So. died so I'm not even sure if I've just been recording for five minutes and it wasn't even on but I was saying that we haven't carried machines yet and have to squeeze it in trying to introduce a couple girls to you guys I should have been writing down who I was gonna be introducing to you guys because now I'm getting confused on who I have introduced and who I haven't so if I accidentally introduce a cow to you guys that I have introduced before I'm really really sorry I'm gonna have to go back through the videos and see who I've introduced and who I haven't this right here is Jules she's about a five-year-old pure Guernsey we did buy her after she had just calved with her first calf off a hobby farmer. You can see by her face expression she's really calm and really chill and really laid back. Um, Brent is trying this kid steer again, but so that's Jules. Um, another Guernsey that we have right here. This is a Guernsey Charlet cross, just like the one I showed you, um, Greta, if you've seen any of my previous videos. She came from the same place, she's the exact same thing, but she's a little more dairy than Greta. She looks a little bit more like a um, Guernsey, but she's kind of a brindled color, so you can tell she's crossed. Something about her would be that she doesn't really have a name. Um, we just call her number eight, and the reason for that is she used to get out so much when we first got her that we were actually considering getting rid of her because it was impossible to keep her in. It didn't matter what you did, she would just find a way out. And it would be situations like you wouldn't even know how she did it. A gate would still be up and she would be on the other side of it, just like a Houdini. But she did finally get better after she had a few calves. 
So we did decide to keep her, but then number eight just kind of um, became her name. So that's just what we call her. She's just number eight. She is about probably eight years old, seven or eight years old. So those are the two girls. Now we have to jump right into milking, but I do hope we get to have a little bit of coffee first because today, today needs to be a more caffeinated day just so I can deal with some things. We just finished milking. The girls have been all bedded and they were finishing up their hay right now. Our mechanic just left and he did manage to figure out what was wrong with the skid steer, so I did want to show you guys that. Take it out here um, so that he could look at it. Um, it was so nice of him to show up today to work on that. He's great. Um, he always shows right up when we need him. So here's the part. You can see there was some rubbing on this wire and it just finally rubbed it right off. Um, and it wasn't making a connection anymore, so it wasn't allowing the loader to lift. I guess he said it was a safety type thing, not really sure. Just hooks right in here. Um, and that is the whole reason that we couldn't lift. So Brent is looking into getting a new one of these, but the mechanic did tell us that we, that we could do kind of a quick fix for now um, and screw a screw in there, wrap the wires around it, and that would hold it just enough so we could use it for now, just so we could load, you know, like bales and do some um, sawdust with it. But we are gonna be ordering a part, so yeah, the whole problem all along was actually electrical and not hydraulic, like we assumed. So fingers crossed, maybe that they have that part in stock, but I doubt it, so hopefully we at least get it in the next few weeks. But at least we have the Kubota to load sawdust with and stuff, because the sawdust is still up front, so that's kind of a good thing. Um, and we can load bales with that and everything, but I mean, it could be much worse. Very glad that we finally figured out what was wrong with it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below. And hopefully the next time I see you guys, we will have a window for the sawdust truck and a working skid steer. So thank you guys again so much and keep it real and keep farming and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.